Hey, it's Katrina here, and I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about something a little personal. This is a little personal. I normally talk about business tips, marketing, growing your business, making more money. But you know what stops us sometimes from doing the things that make the money is internal stuff that we might have going on, but it could also be who we're hanging around with. And some of you don't know my story, but when I started my business 21 years ago, I was married to my starter husband. He's a great guy. Don't get me wrong. I know, right? But he was my he was my first husband and we met when I had a job. Well, we met doing door-to-door -door sales. <laughs> but we met and then got, both got jobs, right? And uh but then a few years later, I got the bug to start my own business. I really left my uh, job. I wasn't happy. And I said, you know what? I can help small business owners. And I left out, but it was the roller coaster of cash flow, right? Like some of us, you know, experience when we start our own business, the roller coaster of cash flow was not something my starter husband was excited about. And in fact, he was really nervous about the financial status, right? And so as a new business owner, I needed a website, I needed a mentor, I needed to go to workshops and learn things and, you know, take classes and all of that costs money. And so I would invest in stuff. And at some level, he was like, look, we can't afford it, right? You can't afford to do this until you make the money. And I said, well, I'm not going to make the money until I learn what to do to do the, to the business. And unfortunately, this is what happens to a lot of people in the first few years of their business. And you just have to find the money, right? You have to find it. I cleaned out my 401k. Now that was after I left my starter husband. And where I was going with this video is that sometimes we look, we can look right next to us and find that person that is the most unsupportive person to our entrepreneurial energy. And we need that. We need that entrepreneurial support. We need somebody to not question what we're doing, um, but someone who could still have a discussion with us, someone who we can share our dreams and passions with and get excited for us on where we're going, what we wanna do, what we wanna accomplish, what we're learning. So where I was going with this today is that Sometimes the thing that keeps you stuck is not necessarily you. It is you, but it's the people you surround yourself that hold your entrepreneurial energy hostage, so to speak, and that you have to figure out how to break free of. I Sometimes you have to put a bubble around yourself, the entrepreneurial bubble, if you have to be around people like that, that continuously tear you down or don't support you. Either way is bad, right? And I just, my heart breaks when I see people who are settling in relationships at that level who are not happy, not happy. I wasn't happy. I was crying myself to sleep at night because my, the person I'm supposed to love me the most was not supportive in my dreams and passion and the new path that I had chose, right? Like, I know that some of you might be married for 30 years. And when you started your marriage, you had one set of goals that you bought and, and things you believed in and 30 years pass and whoa, guess what? You've changed. So have they, right? And it's time to have a rediscussion about the new vision of your life and your dreams and your passions and your goals and where you both want to head. So when it comes to growing your business, it it takes a village, it takes a village, right? We know that we know it takes mentors and workshops and learning things that you don't know, you don't know, but it also takes family, love, attention, friends, um, getting around other entrepreneurial like-minded people who are going places, not the negative ones that say, woe is me, but the ones that are the ones that say, you can do it. You got this. Just keep going. Take that next step you know, don't look back, look forward. And that's what we need in our lives. So it could be time to reevaluate perhaps where, who's around you. And maybe it's time to uh, clean out the house a little bit of who you're surrounding yourself with. Hopefully it's not a significant other um, that's bogging you down. But if it is, you need to have the come to Jesus talk, right? You need to have the talk 
about where you want to go now, where they want to go now, and come to some sort of agreement to support each other, or it's not going to probably work for the next 10 or 20 years, right? So that's what I talk about a lot in my Love Yourself Successful book. Uh, Trust me, I had to learn all this stuff too. I had to go through all kinds of hard times and the online dating world, but now I finally have my keeper husband, right? He's amazing and amazingly supportive and he's not stressed about money. He was in the beginning, but now he knows that he trusts just like I do. It's going to be fine. It's all going to work itself out. The money's going to come. We're going to live amazing life. And we have the same goals and desires for our life and for our kids. And I want you to have that same kind of love and affection and support that you deserve. So I guess my point here is don't settle. Don't settle for people that aren't supportive of you. Either release them, put a bubble around yourself so you can be with them. Don't let them take your entrepreneurial energy. And you got this. You can do this. Don't look back. Look forward. Just take the next step. And I'm here to help. If you need any resources, I am a plethora of resources to growing your business. I'm doing books, speaking, marketing, you name it. I've been at this for over 25 years with lots of different entrepreneurs of all kinds. So I'm happy to help. Go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com for resources, jumpstartpublishing.net if you want the book stuff. Um, business and books, baby. That's what brings your influence and your income and gets you the lifestyle that you want when you're really focused on what matters to you and you do the right things to grow the business with as much ease and freedom as possible. Uh, And I hope to talk with you soon.